True that, Jaime. Just what I needed, Mr. Danny, I hate everything Winget. Thank you so much for never including me in. You are so welcome, man. Can we delete that? Jaime is the type of guy who will introduce himself to his wife every time he returns from a trip. Now I just need to get married. That's right, it's that time of the week. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, what are you for the rest of the time of the week? Dude, just let me introduce my video. That's right, it's that time of the week. I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap, your comments for this week. So before we begin Monday's segment, yes, I have read your comments. Yes, apparently the Huawei ban has been lifted. Obviously, we need a pocket now daily to cover that. But the problem is that uh, these were just President Trump's statements. We just checked and Huawei is still on the blacklist. So obviously, we need for that to get fixed first. And then surely we will cover it. But let's begin Monday with the topic of the iPhone 11. We had some case leaks and these showed that apparently the stove is going to be flush to the chassis, which is interesting. I asked you what you thought about the design. We had 492 comments. A stove that can burn your wallet. Dude, you got 87 likes, man. Wow, I'm impressed. Uh, but yeah. Uh, right. I mean, you could just grab your current wallet, throw it in a stove, and you'll get the same thing. Apple's stovetop camera is like ginger hair. It may be growing on you, but that doesn't mean it's right. What is ginger hair? I'll have to Google that. Single piece of glass. That way, when you break the back of your phone, it will most likely affect the camera lens as well. Fantastic design. Apple making money. Yes. Now that I think of it, that is a good point. True. That could happen. And the biggest problem is that because that back is soldered to what holds the logic board, that's a very expensive replacement. It's uh, currently 500 bucks for the Tennis Max. So yeah, that's... That's bad. Tim Apple, no camera hump. It's revolutionary. Yes, I can't wait to see the keynote of this is real and have Apple claim that nobody's done this. Uh, flash in the LG G8. And that's, yeah, that's exactly the industry right now with Apple. Then on Tuesday, the topic was Samsung. The rumors that we possibly will get a foldable. That's a clamshell smartphone. I asked you if you would be interested in something like that uh, because, well, Samsung does have their clamshell phones and uh, the whole idea of making them foldable is interesting. We had 401 comments. I'm just gonna fold my money and keep them in my pocket now. Dude, two puns in one statement. Wow, I am impressed. Uh, yeah, if I could fold my Galaxy S10 Plus, then that would be cool. This is why I would get more excited over a Galaxy Fold. Yes, I would totally love to have a clamshell smartphone that's a phone and that is just smaller in my pocket. That for me would be fantastic. I feel that that's better than having a foldable tablet that becomes a phone. So it will be an affoldable. I will walk myself out. Yes, please, somebody escort this guy. Okay, pun number, what, three in this video? All right, fine. Damn right about the Motorola Razr and have been waiting for a long time to see the phone in actual launch. It could have been a great phone and amazing design. Would just love to have one. I would love to have one too. I feel that that's the way the market should go. Then on Wednesday, the topic was the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the rumors with case makers that apparently only one of these Galaxy Note 10s will bring 5G. And uh, well, it was a lot. Like, for example, it was that the Pro was going to bring 5G and then the others weren't, which is completely opposite to the previous rumors. I asked you what you thought about this possibility. We had 493 comments. This is a mess. The Note shouldn't have a Pro. The Note is the Pro. Don't make a lesser version. Yes, you're totally right. The Galaxy Note has always been the pro smartphone, the standard. Um, I totally get your point. I just, I do want a smaller Galaxy Note. That's the thing. I feel that I would love the features and I don't necessarily want to put up with the heft. That's me. I'm only going to buy the Note 10 with the headphone jack. So you're not going to buy the Note 10, according to the rumors. If I were getting the Note 10, I would get the smaller model, but I'm not getting the Note 10. I got a Pixel 3a and I love it. Um, dude, yeah, these are completely different markets. Midranger, flagship, um, you know. Without expandable storage and a headphone jack, I don't care if it's one or two devices. It could bring 6G, I'll never buy any of them. 
and I think you won't be buying smartphones for a bit or you're stick with mid-rangers or whatever brings the headphone jack. Dude, I agree with you. I love the headphone jack. I, you know, I don't really care much about expandable storage lately. I have to admit with the amount of gigabytes of storage that we get now. But uh, yeah, the headphone jack alone for me is a big deal too. Then on Thursday, the topic was Apple, Johnny Ive stepping down as chief design officer. He's launching his own company. Obviously, this leaves a lot of speculation over the future of Apple design. Cue in the cheese grater jokes and everything. But anyways, 409 comments, I asked you what you thought. I just hope we don't get another Andy Rubin in the making, essentially speaking. My God, pun number four, I believe. But I'm trying to understand why you mention Andy Rubin as the case. That's a completely different story in the case of Android. I'm concerned in a way for the departure of Johnny Ive, but at the same time, I'm curious as to what's coming after his departure. I'm hoping it's not more cheese grater designs or, well, it depends. Um, I do, if you notice the recent news that we covered on Friday where he, his responsibilities were being scaled back anyway since 2015, I think that what we see now is the tenure of a Johnny Ive that's a little more absent anyways. So I don't think that things are going to change from what we currently already see, but we'll, I don't know. I hear his first job is designing Walmart's new line of cheese graters. I was waiting for the jokes, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> whatever. Something tells me Morgan Freeman will get the job of introducing new Apple products. Oh man, that would definitely be cool. But if you notice in the case of the Mac Pro, he didn't introduce it in the video. So that's something that's already working. I just, yeah, Morgan Freeman on the video would have been better. And then finally on Friday, the topic was the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Apparently there is a plus variant in addition to the Pro, in addition to the normal one. Uh, we currently have three Galaxy S10s, so I'm like, well, that's a possibility. I asked you what you thought. We had 377 comments. I think they simply renamed the 10 Pro to 10 Plus since the Note line is already a Pro line. I That could be a possibility. I mean, the rumors of the Pro variant are so early that, uh, you know, I believe that there's a chance that they could have just changed things down the line. I mean, things change all the time. You have a good point. Which variant has the headphone jack? I don't care about 5G for now. A lot of people won't. I just, we'll see, man. I hope that they bring it at least in the larger variant. I mean, you have the space. Three variants is only good if there's a sub 5.9 inch flat screen Note 10e with no cutbacks on specs. Oh man, that would be so cool. I would totally want that phone as well. Three notes is absolutely ridiculous. Hey, do you want this oversized phone? This even more oversized... <laughs> this even more oversized phone and this... <laughs> oh man, all right. <laughs> or this dinner tray with 5G. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, I needed that laugh. It's been a crazy time, but yeah. <laughs> Oh man, can you imagine? Obviously, one of these devices is going to bring 5G. It's going to be a large phone because they need the RF antenna space anyways. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens in the end, man. Thank you for that. That's it for the Parking Out Daily Recap. Thank you so much for watching. If you want your comments to be featured, keep them short, stick to the point, and try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. Also, follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And here are my handles as well for, you know, the photos that I take. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.